Duke Calloway. This is in the fourth in the series on um, something hopefully that will help you in um, keeping from uh, potential headaches and something that we had to learn the hard way. And on this particular uh, BMW that's here, it's a first generation, um, six series that went from 1976 to 1989. And there was uh, different parts changes, but the theory is basically the same. What ended up happening was when we bought this car, we were having issues as far as the battery not charging properly. So we went to all these different part houses. We went to several different uh, supposed mechanics in UBMW. And irregardless of what parts, the time involved, the diagnostics, using all kinds of, of uh, electronic equipment to try to diagnose if, in fact, the battery was charging or not, what we found after going to uh, Marshall over BMW 2002 recycling that's in Hayward, California, because it resulted into being basically a, anywhere from one to a three dollar bulb that's inside the dash, and that's what we're here to describe. What ended up happening is we could drive after putting in a new alternator, several batteries, and then it turned out being several uh, mechanics. No one could figure out why the, the car still would not hold a charge. And then again, going back to Marshall, what we found, and he brought this up, is if this little battery indicator light is not coming in, on, that's not shining inside of the dash, then the bulb is burnt. And what it's doing is it's acting like a fusible link that's basically uh, disconnecting the circuit to the electrical system and to the charging system. What we ended up having to do is put, Gustavo, put this bulb in and um, I had to, you have to take the dash out of course to put this in, but once you do that, the car starts right up, battery charges, there's not any issues at all, and we've not had any problems at all in probably the past four or five years, resulting from several hundred dollars worth of repairs and people who supposedly again knew BMWs and coming down to a two to three dollar bulb. Come here, what I did was I listed what each of these interior dash light bulb numbers are. And Evelyn, you might want to come over here so you can see it. You have, there's a three different styles that you can use and they all result in the same. There's a 12 volt, three watt bulb. This is the part number, 33195, that ranged anywhere from 1967 to 1995 on all BMWs. And also on the Z3 models from 1996 to 2002, all use a three watt bulb throughout the dash. There's also a 12 volt, one and a 1.5 watt bulb. Here's the part number. That's what this particular one is that's in the car. And it's, it's the black. And it's a 1.5 volt or 1.5 watt bulb. Also, there's another that's a 1.2 watt bulb that it have a beige face on it. And then this is the part number for it. Any of the three will work. And again, the most common would be this uh, three watt and if you want to get more down to what was actually used for most of these earlier models, it's the 1.2 to the 1.5 watt bulb. Once you have someone that can pull the dash, and if, again, your battery indicator is not coming flat, is not coming on inside your dash, this right here is your problem. After probably two months and about five different um, uh, repair shops who supposedly specialized in BMW and other German marquee cars. We finally found a guy in Hayward, California, that knew what the heck it was. And they range anywhere from a dollar to around $4. Pretty silly. Lastly, we have one other thing, too, that I learned on these particular models. And I just want to bring this up because what you can also find is if you have, let's say, the door lock switch 
there's a lot of people that are uh, I see on eBay that are listing this particular piece that has this type of a connection on the end and I could list the part number on it. it looks like it's a 07M84. Well, this one here is uh, basically goes to the uh, mid 80s from probably 1982 to 1984 for your door lock. Also, if you have the trunk lock mechanism that goes basically to your fuel door that's here, then what you would do is put this particular piece, it looks like that, and this one is a 05M, looks like it's a 3 4. It is a 3 4. If you have a 1986 to 1989 E24, then you're going to use a completely different trunk fuel door mechanism. And this is, and it has a completely separate plug and Here's the part number for it. It's a 137, uh, 1378397. This goes to the later models. This one here, this goes from 1986 to 1981. It has actually, there's a beige. If, Evelyn, if you'll come in here and show it, it's a completely different piece. So there's three different of these fuel doors that could be used in these same models. And what I also found is for the, the uh, door locks, which is what this is, and they go, basically, if you were to pull this panel up, they go right in here. Well, this is not the correct one. If you see these on eBay or Amazon, this will not work unless you have the, the correct pigtail that goes inside and you want to jimmy it around. The other one is actually like a square box. There's a pigtail wire with like a, a white little clip and then on the box itself you'll have like a little teeny arm that you have a bushing for this little push rod and this is and then what it does is it activates basically the whole lock mechanism so that on this particular model again it is pretty much for any of your um, three to your seven series cars they all use pretty much the exact same switches, but it comes down to model of year. Anyway, once again, hopefully this helps you in saving some money, understanding the concept of what BMW has done with some of the years, and most importantly, gives you a, the pleasure of being able to drive your little car, and, and whether it's a hobby or a daily driver, and enjoy being able to have your BMW. Thanks again and talk to you soon.